going to kick off with Rob Jones of Sky Sports. Hello, Rob. Hello. Hi, Pep. Hi. Firstly, then, um, just a quick question on yourself and your own health and your family's health. Obviously, after isolating yourself, are you feeling okay? Thank you. Yeah, we're okay. Thank you. And from the perspective of, of the club, obviously, 21 cases before that Swindon game. Are all staff back at work and are all the players that missed that FA Cup match now available for you for tomorrow? No, some people is coming, some people is uh, positive again. So, you know, when when you test it one, twice negative, you come back. Otherwise, you stay at home isolated. So, like it happened in the last two or three months, like uh, in, I think, all the clubs. So those cases that you have at the moment, are they, are they new cases, fresh cases from the ones that, that weren't able to play against Swindon? We have, yeah, we have uh, some, some new cases, yeah. And but how that many? That one of privacy, so that's why I cannot tell you. Can I ask from, from a manager's perspective how difficult and how different it is to try and prepare a team for a game or go through your usual week of work when you have to do it from home? We are used, unfortunately, all the clubs to handling and dealing this situation for already a long time ago. So not just for that period, for this very Omicron come uh, installed in our lives. So in the past years, the past years ago, one year, two seasons ago, it happened the same. So just adapt and hopefully the cases can handle it uh, softly and can come back, uh, you know, in a good conditions. Even with so many cases for that FA Cup match, you still managed to get the game played. Do you get the sense that there is the same eagerness across all the teams in the Premier League to try and get the games played rather than to ask for postponements and, and get them called off? It's a Premier League decision. So I'm not involved. Every club has. So I think the COVID is in all around the world. It's not in this case, there are more or less. So in all around the world, the situation is there in the next month, two months, three months will be there. Hopefully will decrease step by step, but it's not in this part of the world. There is not COVID. So this is not true. Okay, Rob, thank you. We'll go to Simon Stone. Hi, Pat. Do you, do you feel as though um, you and Manchester City are managing this situation better than other clubs because you keep winning matches and nobody else can. Are you saying that here in Manchester we are the smartest? That COVID, uh, the Domicron doesn't like to come here to visit us? No, not at all. I'm just saying you keep winning games. We had a lot of cases and a lot of injuries. So we play in Aston Villa with 11 players in the first team. So in the last four, five, six games to seven games, there are four or five players for the academy in the bench. So we are in the same situation in all other clubs in terms of injuries, in terms of uh, my injuries are a bit less because our medical and physics department are exceptional, our physios, but uh, in terms of uh, COVID, we had a lot, like unfortunately all other clubs because it's all around the world. It's not because here we are as smart as or we are wiser or we do the protocols better than the other ones. When the, the virus uh, come to the bubble, inside to the bubble, everyone suffer. So it's not an exception. Do you, you're a very experienced football manager. You've won, won many, many trophies. Do you regard this period of your career as the most challenging or do you get the most satisfaction from it because you've won trophies, you are still winning, you're still a, a, the best football club and the world is a very different place. Well, what we learn all of us is that before you always, you try to plan a little bit the week or plan a little bit what is going to happen or going to do the next two, three days. What we learn in this situation is take a decision the day of the day or the day of the training sessions. And I would say two hours before the training session or even four or five hours before the game, because today we are okay. And in a few hours, maybe we are four or five positives. So. That's why it's adapt, adjust, and what do you have to do? Mm. The rest, the, the the points we 
have done so far this season and the previous season is, of course, the quality of the players. This is the only reason, important or main reason why. Thank you, Simon. And um, we'll go to Alex Alzile from uh, PLP. Hi, Pep. How are you? Good. Thank you. Tuchel said today that he took the wrong approach in the reverse picture, that they were too passive, they were too defensive. What are you expecting from Chelsea this time? Sorry, sorry, said uh, Alex, I didn't Thomas listen to you. Thomas ah. spoke today. He said he took the wrong approach, that they were too passive, too defensive back at the bridge in September. I just want to know what you're expecting from them this time. Well, saying this quote, I can imagine what is going to happen tomorrow. So if he didn't like the way they play at home, so they're going to play differently way. So now I can imagine that this is going to happen. But seeing Liverpool games or Tottenham both games and the last games, I saw, of course, uh, Chelsea completely different that they play in Stamford Bridge. Uh, that uh, that they play that uh, uh, Thomas said, but I don't know if the plan was like this or they could not do it differently because they could not do it. So I don't know. So, but listen, listen this quote. So I know exactly. But presume uh, the approach that Chelsea will have tomorrow at twelve thirty in the Etihad Stadium. How highly do you rate Thomas Tuchel as a manager? Uh, so creative. Uh, one of the few managers I learned constant, constantly uh, to develop a better manager on myself. Uh, excellent in all departments. So I enjoy since uh, was in Mainz in Borussia Dortmund here. Always I enjoy watching his teams and the way he's playing and the approach. I think he dignify and he makes the world football better. So when you find a manager like always, they want to be, you know, uh, positive in the way they play always is, is good. Thank you, Alex. Um, Mike Minet. Hi, Pep. Good afternoon. Uh, a couple of questions, if I can. First of all, Raheem Sterling, Player of the Month for December. Um, how much has he come on and what's he done to really find his form again in the last couple of months to hit the goals, find the assists? It's, it's a question for him. All the credit for him. What have you noticed within him now? Here. Simple as that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the last time you played Chelsea, you had PSG and Liverpool on in the week. And back then, you said that your side was playing the best they'd ever played under you. Have they developed even further since then? Have they got even better? Michael, football is every day. I would say the last two games was not the best games where I played. I would say the wrong games where I played in the last month or two months. So football is constant, constant evolution. And you have periods that you are playing good, but the kids sustain that for a long time as possible. And this is what I have to do. And tomorrow we know the, the test that we have ahead of us. So it's the champion of Europe, European champion. So an excellent team in all departments. In the way they play, experience, teams, personality, and uh, but it's a good another test, another game to to try to to win, to make uh, three more points, and and come back in our in our best way. Thank you, Mike Stuart Brennan. <coughs> uh, Stuart, you on the you on mute, mate. He's not on mute. I think he's actually with the audio. You've got an issue with the audio then. We'll go to Michael Gray in the meantime. Hi, Pep. Hi. Uh, Pep, you, um, in, in recent games, you've given uh, younger players the opportunity in Cole Palmer and James McAtee. Is that something that um, satisfies you just as much as bringing in a signing for, let's say, 50 or 60 million pounds? Uh. It's a question of patience. So not all the academy players can play with us. Some of them, they can play. They play in a, in a cup called because it's more settled right now. But Maka, James McAtee can play as well. So we know them. And, uh, and there is one or two 
more players that, that had the feeling that they can help us and they can be involved in the future. But uh, but they have to be patient. And still, there are a lot of path, big big, big you know, big big road to 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 follow to to become a settle and officially a player like a, like a big chance to be with us. Thanks, Pat. No. Thank you, Michael. Stuart, do you want to try again? See if we can hear you. No. Can okay. you hear me? No. Oh, we can. No. Yeah, we can hear you now. Oh, you can. Oh, hi. Um. Yeah, Mike touched on what I was going to ask earlier about the game at Stamford Bridge. Um, I was looking at the stats. You had 60% possession against a very good team. Uh, they had no shots on target. Uh, how close to your version of perfection was that performance? And do you think that you've got better since that performance? Well, first of all, is when it was a month ago. Second is every game is completely different. Of course, the performance was really good because minimizing the champion of Europe and what they have done when they were all players' feet and all players were there. So it was really exceptional. Uh, but in that moment, we play, we were below them. We know the difficulty. If we, we didn't get, you would not have get points that and when we play in Stamford Bridge and our, our commitment and our with the ball and without the ball was exceptional. So that's why we won. Unfortunately, with a short margin, we could score much, much more because we have three, one against one, one without keeper to, to score more goals. But the victory was nice. But uh, tomorrow will be completely different because we learn from that. Still, we can do better things, especially in attack. And of course, they will they will change like... Uh, uh, Chelsea manager said they're going to change the approach and 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 they know they have to get points to be to be still there. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.